Hi, thank you very much for your watching My Little Life channel. In this channel, I introduce how I cook Japanese food in London. In this video, I'll show you how Japanese people differently cook sushi rice from European people. And then after, I'll show you easy way of shaping sushi. Usually, people know sushi as something like this. But sushi is not about shape. Sushi literally means the dishes made with vinegared rice. So rice is the most important part of the sushi. If you buy sushi from supermarket, rice tends to get too hard. If you cook at home, please try my recipe. You will find a difference. Rice will melt in your mouth. Let's get started. So there will be eight important steps, but don't get scared. Each steps are super easy. It's just whether you know it or not. Step one, choose sushi rice. Use Japonica rice. It's contain good moisture balance and stickiness. There's no alternative for this. This time, I use 450 gram for four people. Step two, wash rice. Wash rice is must for Japanese people. It's common sense. Because Japanese rice has got lots of starch, I think better to wash it. But sometimes I skip it since I start living in London. But when I cook sushi, I never skip it. How to do it? Pour filtered water into rice and mix it gently and let go through rice in between fingers. Then automatically white brown it comes out. We tend to do this too hard and break each rice grain. Lots of recipes said wash rice like two to three minutes. But how long doesn't really matter. The matter is how many times you change the water. In this time, I change five times the water until the drained water get transparent. We call this washing rice process as a kometogi, which literally means polishing the rice. Step three, soak rice. Before we cook, we soak rice 40 minutes to one hour and let water go into the rice. Soaking time could be slightly different depends on water, season, condition of the rice. If you do this too long, rice get fragile and break. Step four, add water. Amount of the water is very important, but also difficult. The biggest difference from the Western rice cooking is we don't drain rice. We have to let all the water go into the rice. So this is a guide. Well, in short, add 20% extra water versus rice. Step 5. Boil rice. Let it boil the water with high heat first, then cook it very slowly with low heat. How slow it should be is like this. It usually takes 30 to 45 minutes. 
while you are cooking, don't take the lid off because pan temperature will get cooler. When it's almost done, rice looks like this. Again, you don't have to drain because all the water is going into the rice. Step 6. Steam. Once it's cooked, take down from the hole and leave it 10 minutes. Let it settle down and steam it by itself. Step 7. Season. We season sushi rice by vinegar. This is done originally as a preservative, but also sushi rice tastes really nice. In store, you find both rice vinegar and sushi seasoning. Rice vinegar is vinegar made by rice, and you can use for the other Japanese cooking. Then what sushi seasoning means is, it's premix of rice vinegar, bit of sugar and salt. So you can make sushi seasoning at home by yourself. Please remember, if you just use rice vinegar without sugar, it doesn't taste like sushi rice. There's another things like this. This is actually powdered sushi seasoning, but exactly the same as liquid version. It's just easy to keep it. So now, while rice is very hot, sprinkle rice vinegar into rice. When rice gets cooler, it's get very difficult to mix it. Also, vinegar taste will come out too strong. Don't do this in the pan because rice will be mashed. And it's very important to let it cool down quite quickly so that each rice grain gets shiny. That's why we got two like this called sushi barrel in Japan. Here, use the biggest plate you have in your house. This is the biggest plate I have, so I had to do that little by little, but it's not quite ideal. Step 8. Cool down while you are mixing vinegar. Firstly, sprinkle a bit of sushi vinegar on the plate so rice doesn't stick onto the plate. Then after, put rice on, spread it. The important thing is you don't mush it at all. So as I'm doing here, move spatula as if you are cutting rice from only one direction to the other. And while you are doing it, you have to keep cooling the rice using hand fan. Whether you believe it or not, this is a proper process called sharikiri. Usually, you need help from someone doing just fan, and other person will mix rice. Amount of vinegar is just up to your preference. If you want to add more, Move rice into the one side and sprinkle on the plate and mix it again. Once it gets cooler, leave it in room temperature. Don't put it into the fridge to make it cool quickly. Because putting into the fridge will spoil the taste and texture of sushi rice. When it's finished, put wet cloth on it because it gets drier while you are shaping sushi. I hope you enjoyed it and find it useful. In next video, I'm going to shape this sushi, it's pretty easy, 
an kud. Thank you very much for watching till the end. Please check my another video and subscribe my channel. See you in the next video and have a good day.